And welcome to your gun markets update and charts of the day as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. It's the 8th of September 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst to Gun Markets, here to lead you around what's happening today. Across the news, there was a soft session again in the US markets overnight. The Nasdaq posting its fourth straight day of losses and only the Dow closing in positive territory. Uh, there were several Fed members speaking during the course of the session at various venues, and their comments weren't particularly dovish. They were talking about potential further rate hikes this year. Obviously, playing into that narrative is high oil prices and, of course, slow economic data. And the combination of those factors have halted the recent rally that we saw at the back end of last week. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading, trading within a range, really. Asian markets are generally down following that weaker US lead with the ASX down 0.5 of a percent. European futures also pointing to a cautious open, and the VIX is up again slightly, but still near pre-pandemic lows. US dollar index continues to edge high and is now at six-month highs. Gold managed to make small gains despite the USD rise and is sitting over the 200 EMA. Copper was down again to test two-week lows and is looking relatively flat in Asia so far today. And all pulled back from 10-month highs after a strong week so far. Bitcoin continues to be choppy around 25,600 support, but made small gains. It does appear to be continuing higher in Asia so far, which is interesting. Worth keeping an eye on, perhaps. Today, we've got significant data out from Japan with their GDP number, the German CPI and Canadian jobs. Little coming out of the US today, but there is the potential, of course, for Friday repositioning. Uh, just be aware also that Chinese CPI is released tomorrow. Sometimes China data comes out on Saturdays. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're going to start by looking at Oral Limited. And you can see here that we had this drop down from this $5.12 highs we hit earlier in August. And subsequent to that, of course, it bounced around a little bit. But we are starting to see some buying pressure coming in the last couple of days, suggesting that this is at value potentially. And so we're looking at this 480 level. If that's hit, then that really creates a double bottom on this stock and could see this back up to retest those August highs at around about 512. That would be around about a 6.7% from that 481 breach if we get there. So this is one to keep on your radar. Possibly won't do this today, but just watch it over the course of the next few days to see if we get that double bottom formed. In the FX market, we are looking at the Swiss yen you can see here that this 165 looks like an area of interest. We tested it during the night. It was previous support. Uh, but in today's price action, after this long candle, which we've got on all yen crosses, we're seeing the Swissy now move up. And we think this could have the potential during the course of the day to move up around about this 45 to 50 pips. Because of this price action down here, it gives a really nice place to consider putting a stop should you wish to consider this. And of course, with high volume over the last couple of candles, it does seem worth keeping an eye on this during the course of the session. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.